When I listened to it, this is what I thought as well. Candace didn't mean literally the IQ test. She just meant two people on the same intelligence level. So that's what I think she, she meant as well. Not the IQ test, but um, someone of a similar mindset as hers. Um, someone that can really challenge her in that area. So that's what I think she was speaking about. And I necessarily the IQ test. I don't feel no way or another about her marrying outside her race. I could care less. Um, I don't care. I think it was just weird that she said the whole IQ thing, but I had the same thought as the person in the chat. I'm like, maybe she didn't mean IQ. Maybe she meant intellectual level, whatever that's supposed to mean. I think people tend to marry within their socioeconomic level. You marry the people that are around you. So... If that's the people, I mean, given her career choice and everything like that, I would assume that more often than not, the people that are around her tend to probably be white men. So it's not beyond the realm of possibility that she'd be with a white man. I think I definitely think she kind of dodged the question a little bit, even though I don't feel like she had to answer it. That was kind of wild to ask her. Like, how do you feel about, you know what I mean, what black people think about you marrying outside your who gives a shit? It's Candace Owens. <laughs> Did y'all expect? Well, I ain't even gonna say that, but like, come on now. She got kids and everything. We know what we all know about this already. What what are we talking about? <laughs> like, I, I don't I don't get it. This is 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 silly to even ask her a question within that context. On like, come on now, Breakfast Club, do better. There's far better questions you can be asking her than that. I oh, know they asked a lot of good questions, man. I say just. Again, the clips we get it was just somebody clipped it up, and that's what came out. It was they asked a lot of good questions, and I think it was I actually learned some things in there. Yeah. Now I didn't watch the I didn't watch the interview, but if like that's the stuff like she's a political pundit, like ask her shit about that. You know that's her arena. They did, Sweeney. So I think <laughs> that's where it need to stay at. <laughs> I started to bring it up here, but the IQ on the panel, I just. I just said I'm gonna keep it on relationships. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's where it should stay at. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, I said the Thursday show may not be qualified for that, so we got to kind of keep it basic, man. Uh, anyway, uh, Sweeney, hmm? are you are you down with this world? Like, would you have married a white woman before your wife? Would you have considered it? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean, you don't know if you got an appetite for it or not. I mean, you had an appetite before before you got married. I went to a PWI. You know, white women was on the table. Okay, <laughs> that's I need to know. Like, like, uh, that's all. Like, you got to like shit. Dude. I don't. I, I don't Dude. think it's, like, it's only one black woman on here that's really smiling about it. the rest. I'm looking at your ass. I mean, I'm just saying, if you go to a, a predominantly white institution, like yeah, yeah, all of them, like everybody was getting it, like. I went to a PWI too, so I get what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I don't know who, like, I chose the one I chose to marry, but I don't fucking know shit. I was a, by the time, by the time it was all said and done, like, I was already off campus and everything, so it didn't even really, I don't know. <laughs> I respect your transparency. Mr. Let Go, I'm going to go to you, sir. You down with the swirl? Equal opportunity? No, no. I've dated uh, white women, but um, you, you're not down with the swirl. But you dated white women. Yeah, in the past, I've dated different women, but I don't want to be with one. I can't imagine um, eating a white girl's ass. So that's just not me. Just, uh, just, uh, just, just like pastry. Just like the <laughs> that is like disgusting. So yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah. I need, I need, I need a black girl. You know what I'm saying? Look like some, look, look like a steak. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't need no, no pastry when I, when I pull them cheeks apart. Mm -mm. What? I don't know how a white girl. girl you is. make sex sound so goddamn disgusting, bro. <laughs> like you just make it sound. Unappetizing, like it, that shit sounded disgusting. You know, open up a donut, it's like <laughs> nothing with bread. It's like, ugh, I don't, I don't want like, that. Yeah, no, yeah. man, you just, I like, uh. I like, I like my steak. You know, y'all not, y'all know what I mean. Y'all, y'all, no, we like don't, we there. don't, we don't. You on your <laughs> own on that island, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and as far as the um intelligence part, I can understand 
uh what she means not about the white thing but um you date the person that you're intellectually um you know like on the same page with you know and if she went to a pwi and the guy that won her heart from an intellectual standpoint because she talked about how much she you know she thinks and how she plans and she's always formulating things or whatever i can imagine her just running into him and he's like yo i got you i, I know exactly how you think and then wait they kind of like bouncing you know ideas off each other other's head uh i can see that i can see that you know so because some people um they don't really care about color if you've been around white people black people it's just a part of your life so you just you know you date whoever you are around i didn't grow up around a lot of black white people so to a certain degree it seems a little strange to me but to somebody who you know grew up around a lot of white people it might not seem strange so i think it, it may seem weird or strange or off to us but if you got a whole bunch of people around you that are different races i think it's normal i may be wrong wrong as hell how how am i wrong because i don't know tell me why i'm wrong nah you could be right um i was around white people growing up but i ain't like i mean i ain't like the data you know i don't but know if maybe it's a, but if you're a sapiosexual what if you're a sapiosexual and a guy that is really you know turning you on from an intellectual standpoint is white you're just going to ignore him if that's you know that's what turns you on you know conversation hey mr lego you know that shit don't don't hold water you know people people see something that they like at somebody and would disqualify them just as quickly for something else like you're right <laughs> <laughs> they could be a savior. Oh, he's smart as hell, but that motherfucker white though, so I can't deal with him. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I don't know. She just looked like uh um, in my opinion, she just looked she just seems like an Oreo herself. So I can only assume she grew up around white people because of how she talks and acts. So I'm just assuming that that's where her environment was. I may be wrong because I don't know her like that. That that makes a lot of sense because I'm not an Oreo, so I don't like what Sweeney said, I'll talk to a like if he's smart. I do like smart people, so but mm -hmm. he white, so <laughs> I'm not. You gotta have that attraction too, you know. What I'm saying? Right. So and then the first, the first thing I was talking about, just imagine opening up a white Oreo and the whole thing is white. That's that's gross, right? That's kind of like what I was saying about a white girl's butt. I can't do it. I need some. Please, steak. please mute this man, Mike. <laughs> An uh, all white Oreo would look would be disgusting. You ain't, never seen, you ain't never seen the all white Oreos? Never in my life. For real? No, that look that just sounds disgusting. Oh, no, white? They, they got it for real. So, it's, it's, so it's, Mr. Lego, uh -huh. with with all your with all your um white escapades, right? Did mm -hmm. you refrain from relations at that point or were they limited? I've had well, what do you what do you mean limited? I've had a threesome like with because you, uh, you said you girl. wouldn't. You said you, you, you what? You specialize in eating butt, right? But uh, are you I saying you didn't do I that? Specialize in eating. I never said that. As much as you talk about it, if you ain't good at it, it's you shameful. So what I'm saying is, <laughs> yeah, so, what I'm, in so, it? Like, no. so what I'm saying is, so what I'm saying is, did you refrain from eating their butts? You just yes, threw I that I out the window. From, yeah, he lying. Do Don't get him lying to you. Bro. I'm not. I'm not doing that with no white girl. He was an equal opportunity. So you, ass you, you wouldn't eat the front neither. You just d just refrain from eating all together. She said. I, I never put my mouth on a white woman ever in my life. Sure, no don't kissing, get him lying no to you. eating, no licking, no nothing. I never did anything with my mouth on with a white girl. That's kind of nice. no kissing, no nothing. I never yeah. kiss. I never put my mouth on a white girl ever in my life. Be be honest, you're okay. an equal opportunity ass. Oh, really? <laughs> no, because I wouldn't do that to a white girl. <laughs> I think you gotta. I think you gotta take an account from looking at Mr. Lego's image. I think about the type of white woman he probably can get based on stereotypes. Meaning what? Um, meaning a white girl. Just, look, just looking at your image, it seems like the type of white woman you would track will be probably the ones that's not 
cash me outside girl like white women. Yeah, trailer park <laughs> trash type. No, like it don't seem like Mary Jane outside girl. You don't seem you don't look he don't look like he can get the Mary Jane of Spider Man. More like <laughs> Who was the uh, female artist that T.I. had um, the fine ass? Iggy Azalea. <laughs> Iggy Azalea? Now, Iggy might be able to get it. Iggy, Iggy was And that's my it. point. I told yeah. you he was an equal opportunity ass. The ones that the white man don't want are the ones that you probably find more attractive. And I like the, uh, you know, hood radish type of girls every now and then. So I, I like a girl with a little, you know, you know, I, I'm telling her to shut the hell up, but as long as you shut the hell up when I say shut the hell up, you're good. But Wait yeah, a minute. Uh, His yeah. standards uh, are in the toilet for white women. Y'all telling me he ain't never ate no white girl ass before? Bullshit. I ain't been, I ain't Man, been your standards, standards are in the women. toilet. You said Iggy Azalea types. Like, come on, bro. Like, bro. I don't mess with white women. So I'm just saying if it was a white woman, it would be an Iggy Azalea, Azalea type. But I don't really mess with white women. We don't believe you. <laughs> I like I like the little spunky, you know, women. So yeah, a white woman would have to be a little spunky. All right, let's go get Bruce in there. Bruce, what are your thoughts about this, sir? What's going on, man? You down with the swirl? I uh, think people tend to marry based on IQ. Uh, I think that's justifiable, especially if you in school and you and you dating and you happen to run into. I I think the people that the men that she was running into kind of match her her vibe, you know what I mean? I don't think none of the black brothers in the school was matching her vibe as far as she don't seem like the she come she, she's black but she don't she don't talk and she don't act like she come from the the hip hop culture. You know what I mean? She's more like the preppy. You know, I know I even know I even know black brothers that wear Abercrombie and Fitch and American Eagle and their image and everything about them is Calls and crazy type. preppy back background that actually attract white girls. I think she was on that level, but I don't find nothing wrong with it when it when it comes to marriage, man. And me personally, uh qualities I look for in a wife, they they're not restricted, you know, to the color of your skin. You know, hold on, JR, are you cutting your toenails while this man talking? What was that noise? Why would he do that? I'm I'm going by. I just keep hearing now. Whoever's editing clips got to cut that. Well, they probably ain't gonna cut that out. That's... Somebody's cutting their toenails, either uh Bruiser or or Jr. Or what the hell? What was what that you, noise? What are you? Somebody's doing about? something. Oh, Charles, you heard this. it right. That was this. Huh? That was this. No, it was like a. It was like yeah. A, that that was this. Oh, okay. So you was cutting your toenails. Okay. All right. Now, now let Bruiser get back to his point, man. You derailed that man. Yeah, Bruiser. Man, you see that man talking. Handley kit. That's what I thought he was talking about. And they got the toenail and nail kit now. So that's what I thought you was talking about. I don't see nothing wrong with marrying outside your race, man. It's 2024, and I'm just trying to figure out how in the hell is that even an interesting topic now when people are changing themselves into a whole nother gender and getting married. But I I don't see how it's still about the color. But besides that, I think a lot of us today struggle, you know, with the available options already. You know what I'm saying? So I would suggest that those who do, if they want to increase their chances of finding a partner, and they might be smart to just be, you know, open to date other races. I mean, that's all I can say about that. Okay. Honestly, that is as people just like what they like. I don't even because it's it could be anything. Like even let's say in the LGBT community, some of them they like what they like and they do that. I don't think it has anything to do with the background because some of them come from straight family homes and they like the same sex. So if you like, you like it, and you will be interested in it. Um, so I don't know. That's that's what I think too. All right, let's go ahead and get Roof in there. Roof, what are your thoughts about it, man? You down with the swirl? Oh, uh, no, not me. I'm good. <clears throat> Have you ever been down with the swirl? You're no. not the person just saying if you knew anybody that has, not you personally. Not me personally. You oh, do I know anybody? Yeah. Um, no. I think the more that you study who you are, where you came from, it's it gets harder and harder to do so. 
Um, just I'm I'm Haitian American, so I'm literally the first person in my family born in America. Um, so I are I, dating the American, you know, a, a black American man is kind of dating outside of my culture. That's enough for me. Um, but it is also um, really refreshing that I don't have to explain racism to him. Or, you know, a lot of things you already know. I don't sound crazy to that person. And I don't like how people downplay stuff. So that would offend me constantly. So for me, it's like enough at work. Uh, I don't need that in my home. So 